Hey everyone, I'm ExitSign250 and welcome to a demonstration and overview of my EST2 addressable firearm control panel that I got from my school. For those that don't know, after I filmed my 2019 New Year's fire alarm sounding video, a lot of you requested to see a video overview and demo of the EST2 and the devices with it. This EST2 fire alarm panel was installed around 2003. It replaced a Simplex 2001. If you'd like to see more info on the fire alarm system or the history of the fire alarm system at my school, I should have posted a uh, comment in the comment section about the whole history because I don't want to take time out of this video to go over everything. So for those that are interested, and I know there's a select few, not everyone's interested, but uh, check out the comment section and I should have pinned a comment and you'd be able to see it and read about it. Let's go ahead and get on with the overview. So here's the panel. It's pretty large. The panel's height is around 30 inches, the width of it is around 16 and a half, and the depth's around 5 and a half. It also comes in at a whopping 38 pounds, too. Opening it up, here is the inside, and you can see here is the uh, LCD display and the general buttons and LED indicators. Here's the door, and here's some of the uh, labels right here. And here's some general functions of the system and how to operate it, if you'd like to pause and read it. Here's some of the buttons. And then local silence, which is just an acknowledge to shut off the piezo. Alarm silence obviously shuts off NACs that are programmed to it. Drill, it's a fire drill or re-alarm. And reset, resets the system. A cool feature about this panel that I don't think a lot have it, maybe Simplex does, but uh, unlike your typical panel, which I'm thinking about firelight type, that you can, when you, there's an alarm or a trouble, it's all in the same event log, so you have to scroll through everything. But with the EST2, you can scroll through individuals. So it's like if I had two fire alarms, one supervisory, and a few troubles, and I wanted to see what the troubles were, instead of going through the, all the alarms and the supervisories, I can just go through the troubles or just go through the supervisories or the alarms. I find that really interesting and pretty convenient. That's the outer display and what you would generally have access to. But to get back where all the wiring and the circuitry is, you actually have to undo this flathead screw and then there's one right here. So once you undo both of these, it opens up like a door and you have access to everything. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now that that's undone, it just opens like another door. And now here's the inside of everything. This pretty big circuit board is the power supply. It takes 120 volts AC and steps it down to 24 volts DC. And it's also a NAC power supply and a power supply for any monitor modules that control two wire conventional smoke detectors. Moving down right here is the main circuit board and also has the NACs and the SLC. Main circuit board controls the whole system and it has two NACs, NAC1 and NAC2, and they can be wired class A or class B. Something interesting with EST, and I'm not sure if any other brands do it, but the NACs are pretty much just relays, and you have to bring in your own power source. There's a terminal right there that says source, and that's where you would provide your power or even audio. And when an alarm occurs, the relay trips and allows either, you know, 24 volts DC, 12 volts DC, or audio to go through, which you can provide whatever low voltage current you want. And then down right here, this green terminal block is the SLC, or what EST likes to call it, the SIGA. The SIGA A, which the, is the equivalent to the SLC1, and the SIGA B, which is the equivalent to SLC2. I actually had to do repairs on this because when I got it, the terminal block was very loose and it broke off, and that's not good because this is the only place that I can hook up devices to. Underneath it is an expansion board with two more NACs, which I don't actually have connected to any source, so they're just acting as relays, and then uh, another two SLCs, which actually are not programmed into the system, so the expansion board was only used for the NACs. And underneath all that is a bunch of monitor modules, eight of them to be exact. These monitor modules were installed to handle the existing zones that were on the previous 2001 system. In the bottom right is actually a relay that controlled the existing fire doors too. And at the top left is a monitor module that actually monitors how much voltage is going through the two wire smoke detectors. And in this case all the other monitor modules are configured to have 24 volts DC or a two wire smoke detector format. So even though there were some pulse stations in it, it also powered any two wire smoke detectors. So that's the overview of everything, and I think I'll go ahead and wire a little demonstration so you can see how the panel operates, and I think we can mess around with a few of the features too.
Before I wire everything up, I just want to show you a few devices that I got from my school. First, three of these EST SIGA 278 addressable pull stations. This one was originally dual action, but I converted it. I'm going to wire up this one for the demo. Next, I got a Simplex 2901-9806 horn. This is a rebrand of a Federal Signal horn. Always wanted one of these, and it's cool that I got one from my school. Uh, a Wheelock EHD-01, which was a replacement for one of these sometimes in the 90s. Uh, Edwards 2 cent SPO, older 2 cent SPO that was in the original part of the school that was built in the 70s. Three of these EST SIGA PS adjustable photoelectric smokes. I'll wire one of them up. One SIGA HRS adjustable heat detector. And then this is it was in my personal collection, but I'm just going to wire it up for a conventional device. Okay, got a little demo wired up. Um, before I do everything, I do want to say something which I forgot to mention earlier. Um, there's no way I can program this panel because to program an EST addressable panel you have to be a trained EST technician with special software and tools which I just don't have access to. So there's no way I can reprogram the names and take out all the old devices but I can still use it since I have the original devices and the monitor modules inside of it so I can use conventional stuff. So it'll work as a demo but I just can't you know fix the names how I need to. But that's okay. Anyway, so uh, Right here, we have a EST SIGA uh, 278 addressable pulse station, and beside of it, a uh, SIGA PS. And then I have my Simplex 4251-20, not from my school, but in my collection, um, wired to the conventional, uh, or to the monitor module, which makes it addressable. And then up here, I have an EST Genesis chime strobe. Um, they didn't have chime strobes in the system, I'm just using it to not make a lot of noise. So yeah, there you go, um, and I guess we'll get started. Go ahead and pull this pull station. So here we go. Oop. Okay, so alarm silenced, and uh, by the way, none of the knacks we're set to uh, audible silence, so no strobes will continue to flash, unfortunately. Let's see if we can activate the smoke detector. Got some smoke saber. This is my can that is literally about to run out. Let's see. There we go. And then we can re-alarm if we need to by pressing drill or alarm silence again. Let's back off. So there you go. You can also see with the detectors they act a bit differently, unlike a standard one LED detector. Um, green LED here that pulls when it communicates with the panel, and then a red LED that flashes when it's an alarm. And same with the back of the pulse stations. Two LEDs down here, which probably won't flash, but uh, oh well and also with the monitor modules too. And we can scroll through the alarms, so here's the pulse station that activated, and then the smoke detector that activated, and then I can go through the troubles as I need. Let's go ahead and reset the pulse station, and hopefully that'll give time for the smoke detector to clear. So open that up, flip that down, reset the handle, and lock it. Let's press reset. Love that relay click. Yeah, something else too, resetting is a bit different on this panel. Unlike most panels that we're used to that does a lamp test and you could hear the piezo beep for a minute, this panel, this is its reset. It's just literally just resets the SLCs on the devices. It doesn't really do a lamp test, which is interesting. Let's do a few features. First, let's do test, which is basically walk test. It's going to ask me to enter a password, which I can't show. And now you can see the test light is on and it says no test, or it'll reset if I don't do anything in 30 minutes. Let's press enter, and I'm in test mode. Go ahead and activate this. Which activates the panel, but not the notification appliances, and you can see where the alarm was. So that concludes the overview and the demonstration of my EST2 adjustable fire alarm control panel that I got from my school. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys liked it since a lot of you requested this. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions about this, and I guess I'll see you guys in another video.